The camera in Super Mario World is very similar to that of the camera in Super Mario 3. Uh, it'll follow the player left to right and is snapped to the bottom of the screen. Um, you see here I can jump up and the camera doesn't follow me um, unless I fill up my P meter which in Super Mario World is represented by Mario sticking his arms out. And you can see that when I build up some speed the camera does in fact follow me. Uh, one thing that I hadn't noticed in Super Mario 3 was that um, the camera prefers not to move. So um, anytime Mario changes direction, um, he's afforded 16 pixels in either the left or right direction before the camera will start moving again. Um, that's only true when you're changing direction. So if I start moving now, I've already moved my 16 pixels, so the camera's immediately following me. Um, that allows for like micro adjustments when you're on a platform or when you're trying to get up and get underneath a, a block to, to hit it with your head. Level 1-3 introduces a new type of camera control um, that I'm calling platform snap. And the way it works is the level, um, it appears to be uh, locked to the bottom as in the other free moving examples. Um, except when you jump up to a new platform, you can see the camera shifts a little bit there. You'll see it a lot more in this next one. Um, and so you can jump around and stuff and the camera doesn't move vertically um, until you actually land on another platform. I... This is true of moving platforms as well. When you're on a moving platform, the camera will move vertically. 3-2 is an interesting beast. Um, it starts out as free moving, uh, locked to the bottom. Oh, that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> and then once you hit the water, it becomes unlocked. And it also features, once you leave the water after entering it, um, you'll see the behavior becomes platform locked. So until you hit the bottom of the screen where it will become bottom locked again. So now I can jump around and I can actually jump off the screen. But once I go in the water and then come out, you'll see that it's now um, focused on the platform that I was last on. And then this can be, this is, let's see, you can really see this behavior if we get to the end of the level. So I just came out of the level and got on a vine, and that puts me in free. Um, I believe it's also featuring a, a top locking uh, in this portion. Because you can see I go down here, and the screen doesn't really follow me. Um, I believe there's a cutoff. Um, it's about 30% up from the full screen height from the top before it releases the vertical top locking. All right, so <clears throat> uh, right here it's top locked. So as I change altitude, elevation up here, it remains locked to the top of the screen until I descend below a certain point and it becomes free moving, or sorry, platform locked. So, and again, remember the camera doesn't like to move, so here I'm only making a change from one platform to another, which is only 16 pixels, so it doesn't actually adjust the camera. Um, but once I get back down to zero locked, um, it remains zero locked. So if I try to run up this incline, you'll see that it's treating it as if it's still zero locked. So now I'm off screen. But if I were to gain some speed, I'm going to have to do it this way, and then jump, I can release the bottom lock, and it goes free lock until it hits the top, and now it's top locked. 